Yeah, we don't have to worry about that because I always follow proper procedures. What's going on? So I hinted a while back at the end of one of the videos, I showed a little sneak peek of uh, something big I had purchased. So that's why you gotta watch the videos to the end because you never know what little nugget I'm gonna put in there. And uh, you know, we've been busy with other stuff. So I thought, woo. So I thought, you know, hey, now it's time to kind of make the reveal. We haven't named this one yet. So maybe I can get some help from y'all. We need to come up with a good name. I usually let the kids name everything, but we'll see. Mm. Not bad, not bad. So 55,000 original miles, 6,900 hours. There she is. So you're probably saying to yourself, Self, why did he get that? Well, the suggestion came from uh, John number one, who happens to be out here, you know, helping this week. And uh, it's like, you know, these things kind of come in handy. Because I was having to pay some crane fees. You can use this as a crane, which is what this one is. And this is the triple boom, so this is the 47 foot reach. Um, and we're going to put a basket on it for when we need to work on the side of the house and stuff. And we have some options. We haven't decided which way we're going. They make some kits <clears throat> that you can put the pin in and everything and use like the basket you see on the service trucks. There's a company that makes an, a quick attach coupling and a basket that's really nice, a two-man basket. Or you can get a crane basket that hangs underneath, of course, which wouldn't be as stable. Uh, so, got to make decisions on that. Guy I bought it from had done some work, gone through, done some paint work. So, you know, it's in nice shape. The controls are down here. So right now in its current configuration, it's a two person operation. Uh, I'm going to get the remote kit and you'll see that in some future video. So you can operate it uh, from the basket. It does uh, have the hydraulic uh, hookup here. So you can do hydraulic tools if you needed it. A little bit of storage space. Some of them have more space for tools and the winch for the front and you can uh pull a trailer with it and it's got the hookups for that and it's got an auger in case i need to put telephone poles in which i do have some extra poles so if i wanted to uh, put some in somewhere i could use this to dig the hole clamp it set it and uh actually you're probably going to see that at some point because I've got like four right now and I know where I can get more. And that would be great for me to set up my bat houses, which are great at eating mosquitoes. Uh, so we'll probably actually put that to use. It kind of started out as a joke, but uh, I think we'll use it. So let me show you some stuff. Oh, that's the auger release. I don't think we want to do that. Oh, that's the digger speed. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. What lever? What lever? The one on the back that says equipment. The one, the one over here is for the hose. That's out. All right, now try it. Okay. Huh? What? You gonna get out there and let me uh, lift you up to put the the flag on the top of the pole? Hell no. What if I buy you a harness? <laughs> Baby. What if I give you a bonus of a hundred dollars and a harness? Why? <laughs> Yeah, I want to. Hey, I want to put you up there without a harness. Anyway, we're we're gonna have some harnesses. We're gonna have all the safety stuff.
Hey, so we can set this next to the lake and we can high dive off of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, we have been needing one of these. Probably, yeah. So see that right there tells you what degree you're at. And then you can look on here and it tells you your weights that you can lift, depending on how high you're up and all that stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you got to have, I got you. I think I got you. Okay, all right. Oh, where it says out. Did he show you how to do the, uh, like we where we grease it up and all that, or I guess we just figured it out? Get on it like George of the Jungle. Get on it like George of the Jungle. Ain't nowhere. Poor planning. Yeah, we'll be seeing what all kind of cool stuff we can do with this. What kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Hopefully not too much. 